Peggy 18. doesn't know what I can do. I want to live a normal life.
Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Space-time distortions. They're still puking out dinosaurs all over the planet. So, Picatoa Island's been sealed up for three years, and Ivius won't own up to Leviathan's malfunction? Can you address the reports of Exofighter patrols on the island? Reports of Exofighter patrols are simply untrue. Ivius is committing all possible resources to the investigation. Exercise results logged. Sunsetting temporal instance. Come on back. Drinks on me. There are hundreds of exo fighters running around out there. Everyone's armed. Nobody knows what'll happen next. One minute, they could be helping you. The next minute, they're shooting you in the back. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the Vyvan. It's trying to build stronger exosuits, so it's pulling any exo fighter it can get hold of back in time to these bloody war games. Like it or not, the exosuit's keeping this alive out there. But the more we use it, the more it helps Leviathan. Well, that's not an option. One way or another. Value team members, prepare for dimensional integration in 10 minutes. You stay alive, man. Only you. If you give an AI like Leviathan the directive, improve our exosuits, it has to complete. It doesn't matter whether that takes a hundred tries, a million, all for the perfect suit. More than that. But at least do me the courtesy of looking me in the face whilst you do it. Okay, P. 
pinky forefinger back to middle, full wrist articulation. Then we do it in reverse. Begin. What the hell are you guys doing? It's a secret robot handshake. Good morning, Victoria. Keep coming! Keep coming! Keep coming! Safety first, bud. Hmm? You my new recruit? Yeah. Gotta say, you're photogenic. Again, you can call me Luke. We're just coach. Every night I have the same nightmare. That day, that was hell. I remember people screaming. What's going on? They get bitten, then they turn. You watch it spread. And spread. 
terrifying. Leon? It's gotta be another outbreak. I gotta go. Don't do anything stupid. Raccoon City was the beginning. We can't let what happened stay buried. But if we went public with this, we could expose a conspiracy. I can't get anyone to go on record about outbreak. Sorry, I, I don't know what to tell you. We need to show the world that we are a strong nation, capable of protecting the interests of the free world. We must be the source of hope to those who seek freedom. We cannot allow anyone to interfere with peace and prosperity. What are you here for? That's classified. You know where the root of terror comes from? It starts with fear. But to vacation, eh? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to.
I'm not sure if they are hardcore Resident Evil fans or how many fans there are at Tango. But I spoke with some of my co-workers who like Resident Evil. Unlike all those years ago, over the past few years, people have started to recognize there are true RE fans out there. Right, we're really grateful for that. The one I've enjoyed the most recently would have to be Resident Evil 7. That was amazing. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, it was insanely good. Ever since Resident Evil 4, for me, the best one has been Resident Evil 7. Seriously? I played Resident Evil 7, but I haven't tried out Resident Evil Village. Someone on my team who's been playing RE for a long time also praised Resident Evil 7 highly. They liked Resident Evil Village as well, so I asked them which they liked more, RE7 or RE Village, and they said RE Village. Whoa, I'm really happy to hear that. When I asked them why, they said that even though RE7 was great for the horror, Resident Evil has always really been lacking when it comes to continuity with previous games. That's why they, as a fan of the whole series, liked RE Village, which makes it feel like a true continuation of the series. A lot of fans have probably been feeling that way recently. Probably in the past four or five years, I'd say. Thank you so much. Since Resident Evil 7, focusing on horror was good. And when it came to directing, as with other titles, each director did their thing and they brought out something great for each game by adding something special for each of the titles. That has been the case for all of the franchise titles. There are some players who became the fans of the brand regardless of one feature or another, but something that cannot be achieved if the brand is still young, like five to 10 years old. I was once more reminded of how big RE is as a brand. Did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets and priestesses. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. Happy half birthday, Rose.
I just want to find my daughter. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Precious Rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Oh, Leah. I'm so sorry. I love you. Afraid. I try to imagine what he might have said to me. No matter, your imminent demise is inevitable. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. I've got this! I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible was spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first-person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third-person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. 
While there's still a sense of immersion and fear with a third-person perspective, when the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village, as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third-person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. Mission adjustment? No. Doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Move out. Yes, sir. Okay. Resident Evil R Reverse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has cross-play, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Sandmel, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. During the keynote at our Worldwide Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year, and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of Metal 3 features like Metal Effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive, with high frame rates and beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world can play the game on Nintendo Switch without thinking about the download time. The application size is small but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. It is great to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time, or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game.
With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming as well as its future through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. Resident Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th, and the Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. <laughs> How delightful! Such delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You want more? <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. Hello everyone, I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Anyone home? Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The President's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... <laughs> Gotta go, talk later.
for the repairs later. What did you think? As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas and state-of-the-art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you played the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. No fucking way. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added parry using his knife, and more. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the playfield. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the Deluxe Edition, which will be available for all platforms. This includes additional content, such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Next is the Physical-Only Collector's Edition. This edition includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. If you pre-order the Standard Edition, you'll receive the Attaché Case Gold and Special Charm Handgun Ammo. If you pre-order the Deluxe Edition or Collector's Edition, you'll receive the Standard Edition pre-order bonuses as well as Attaché Case Classic and Special Charm Green Herb. 
If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? Ashley, where are you? Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Let me go. Listen. Ah! You're in the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. Oh! I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My faithful disciple will show her the bad. Ashley, run! Shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. And now that he has chosen death. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil Showcase? Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Additional Orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes, a demo for the third-person mode will be available today. Don't forget, the early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Well, well, looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An odd chap, but his information's good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. <laughs>